I like to play table tennis or ping pong and I don't really have a home that's big enough for a full-size ping pong table. So I found this ping pong table on Amazon.com that is actually like two-thirds of the size of a regular ping pong table and when you're not using it you can fold it up and store it inside a closet. Now the thing about ping pong is you need somebody to play against and that is one of my biggest problems because as much as I like to play ping pong I don't often have anybody to play against. So I started looking into these little ping ping pong robots that are out there and there's a whole bunch of them but these robots allow you to play ping pong by yourself basically the robots serve you the ball and you hit it back it's awesome now these robots come from like really cheap like a hundred bucks all the way up to several thousand dollars for the really sophisticated high-end ping pong robots and I wasn't prepared to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on one of these ping pong robots so then I went on a Craigslist and I found a guy that was selling an older robot of some kind for a ping pong table and he had it listed on Craigslist for like a hundred bucks. I wrote to him, I said, would you take 50? He wrote back and said, how about 75? And I said, how about 75 with the shipping included? And he said, deal. So for $75, I got myself an older generation ping pong robot that's quite sophisticated actually. So I got this robot, it's awesome, it's fun to play with, but the problem is that I only got about 50 balls that this thing can store inside of it. And then after those 50 balls have been used, I have to stop the machine and go and pick up all of these balls off of the ground because after I hit them they just fly all over the place and they end up on the ground. And so I really only end up playing for about two minutes by myself with the robot until all the balls are gone and I have to go and pick them up. So then I started thinking how can I extend my playtime with this robot? And what I ended up doing was creating a net of sort out of a cardboard bicycle box. So I went to my local bike shop, picked up a free cardboard bike box, and then I designed this whole thing, a capture device is basically what it is, so that when I'm playing with the ping pong robot, I hit the balls into the cardboard box. They hit these pillowcases that I've hung from the top of the cardboard box. They kind of fall into the pillowcases, fall down onto the cardboard, and then roll down into the center back into the bottom bucket, basically, of the ping pong robot. So I'm basically recycling the balls as I'm playing. And it works really, really well. I can basically extend my time on the machine from about two minutes or three minutes when there's no net to over 10 minutes playing by myself with this homemade cardboard bike box net. It's not perfect, like some of the balls do bounce out of there. Sometimes I just miss the ball completely and it ends up behind me. Sometimes the balls bounce off of the pillowcases and then back onto the table. But overall, what I've created for free essentially is a very good ping pong catchment system for my at home ping pong table. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun and I just thought I would share the video with you. So here's some uh, video of me playing on my uh, two thirds size ping pong table with my $75 ping pong robot and my absolutely free ping pong catchment device. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.